Hello everyone, welcome to Tables. I hope you are all doing fine. This is our new video on installation of Anaconda. So in this video, I will show you steps how you can download and install Anaconda. And then we will launch our Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda Navigator. And we will prepare our first Python program using Matplotlib library. We will draw this line graph using this data set that is X and Y. You can check more about Anaconda in this website that is anaconda.com. So it is already used by 35 million users and it is best for Python developers and data scientists. So it's world's most popular platform to develop and deploy secure Python solutions and faster. It was founded by Peter Wang and Travis in 2012 and it is an open source platform. So without wasting time, let's get started with our video. So our first step to install Anaconda is we will type in Google install Anaconda in Windows click enter you will go to this first link installing on Windows Anaconda then you will navigate to this installation process so this is our first link that is download Anaconda installer click here you can see our site is loaded now you just need to click on this button to download the Anaconda file now you can see this is a 787 MB file and we are downloading it. So we will restart once it is downloaded. So once Anaconda is downloaded, you would double click it. You can navigate it in download folder. Setup file is loading. Now we have a pop up. Welcome to Anaconda 3. Click next to continue. Click on I agree. Install for you can use just for me or for all user as per your requirement. Next click install. Now the file is installing. So we have fast forwarded the installation process. Now installation is completed. Anaconda is installed in our computer. Now we will click on next. Then again next. Then click on finish. So after installation of Anaconda, you will be redirected to this page. That is Anaconda download success. So here you can read about the Anaconda. You can check documentation about Anaconda. After installation, go to the start menu, type Anaconda. You can see Anaconda Navigator installed. Click on it. You can see a green circle is appearing. It is saying it is initializing. Anaconda is initializing. So here is our Anaconda Navigator window. You can see there are different things like data spell, Jupyter Lab notebooks, PowerShell, Orange 3, R Studio, PyCharm Professional, everything is there. For now, we will check this Jupyter Notebook. You will click on this launch button. So now you can see there is one pop up and you can see there is local host 88903. Now our Jupyter Notebook is open. Now let's create our first program, Python program. We will go to desktop. Then we will click on this new folder. So now our new folder is created. Let's rename it. Data was first Python program. Let's rename it. Double click it to open. Now we are ne uh, in Data was first Python program folder inside desktop. Now let's create our first Python file. So we are redirected to this Jupyter notebook and the file name of the file is untitled. Let's change its name. First data tools first Python program. Click rename. Now let's create our first Python program. I will add this code in our description section. So you can copy the code from description of the video. Copy this code and paste this in this first cell. So what it is doing, it is first imp importing matplotlib as plt and then we are creating two axis values that is x equal to this and y equal to this and then we are plotting this x and y using plt.plot function and we are labeling x axis as x axis and y axis as y axis and the title of the uh, graph is my first graph so we will click here and then uh, do control enter so after control enter you will see the graph so we have created our first python program so we have created our first Python program in Jupyter Notebook by using Anaconda. You can save this file here and if you go to Datables first Python program in desktop, you can see 
this is the file which we created so guys that's all for this video if you find this video insightful then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section we will try our best to answer all of them check us out on different social media platform like linkedin facebook and twitter and check our websites that is datawolves.com so we'll see you in our next video thank you bye